Hello everybody, or good evening even. It's quite late in the day today since the last episode, and I'm just having a wander, exploring some of the land on the edge of the land that we already own. And this, what is this, or what was this? Question. That light switch work? Oh, can't open the door. well here in it there's water down there oh completely stripped out wrecked old car this piece of land here I don't own it's um, just south of the boundary of the land that I do own get to this you have to come through my land unless you come through the, um, barns yard thing. I'm, th I'm thinking I'm cogitating I'm looking for options here um, one of the things that I'm thinking about is that if I was to pull some of these trees out I could extend this field up onto this area here where the slope is not as steep as it is on a part of that field and I could bring it back quite a way actually check on the, uh, the land map yeah we can take it all the way back to what appears to be a path back there so let's just have a look how does that go oh it comes quite a way have to leave a, a gap here of course for turning around because the drop onto that path is pretty steep unless we've got the bulldozers in to shave off the top of this ridge line that's an option of course but it would allow us to put a good extension on that field oh. probably add minimum half as much again if not two-thirds that would be worth doing one of the other things that we could do is if we raised the ground down here by infilling this after shaving the top of that ridge then not only will our combines have an easier job of turning around but we might actually get to extend the field by half a dozen meters or so on this side which, given the length that the field would then be will make quite a difference to the yield from the field hmm that's an option not for today though what are we going to do today well it's coming up to sunset so not a lot in game today but in game tomorrow in this episode we're going to get these three fields or existing three fields um, prepped for planting and planted and I was wanting to buy more land to expand the farm but let's have a quick look at the map and I'll show you what I was thinking about right so that's that there that huge scythe shaped swath, uh, swath of land is the bit that we've just been looking at we were up here at this building in this flat area here now that would be a good forestry area if I wanted to do forestry which is why I say it's not for purchasing today because I'd have to do a few things to prep that land and use it before we could get it productive all of which I would do on camera for you this area is a piece of land that I was wanting to, to buy purely because it connects directly onto our border here and if I just take off the land ownerships at the moment, this path here, like this path, and like this path down the side of field 26 that we've just looked at, are all sunken. In other words, the land on either side of them is noticeably higher than the height of the path itself. 
and in terms of this ridge here to the west of field 2425 the height of this ridge is tremendously higher than the path and than the edge at the foot of the hill round here if we just look across you can see the shadow that that hill is casting across the crop already as the sun goes down in the real world i'd want to be getting rid of that shadow lost sunlight is lost growth and lost growth is lost yield so i'd be wanting to in particular take out those two trees and those two trees up there get the last of the evening sunlight but I'd also want to be getting rid of this hill and the trees that are on it and as I come up here you can look and you'll see that's quite a drop down there the path down there is the edge of our land let's get to the highest point I think this is this is the highest point yeah the path down there is the boundary of our land this side of the path is the boundary see that's quite a drop down there it's also quite a drop down there if I was to get this hill taken out get the, uh, the civil engineers in and take this hill out completely I could use this to infill the quarry up at the BGA that I mentioned in the last episode and I'll get to the BGA in a moment um, and also this would then allow me to convert you like the foundations of this hill into either a field extension for that field there or a completely new field because if we come back down to this side come right down onto the path see that is a long way down we can recover quite a lot of land by dropping that hill and as we come round here see we're not particularly high above the road so we could actually make quite a nice um, smoothly sloped meadow or field by taking out this hill not so the, the height of the, the ridge is not so noticeable at this end because you can see the path there on the left to that tree see the height of the road edge down there it would definitely have a slope down from the path to down there but that's okay it's a manageable slope unlike the one that's here right now so and again see just just on the right hand edge of screen there you can see the path there if I take a step over here see that there so we'd have we'd have a slope even if we took the entirety of this hill out There'd be a slope but it would be a manageable slope and up here there wouldn't actually be a slope not not right to left anyway so that's a job for another episode this will take an entire episode up just landscaping this even if i put it in time lapse and speed it up for you so we'll save that for another episode what we want to do then is we want to get those three three fields ready and then we want to buy another piece of land and as I said what I was wanting to do was to get this one and then we can just run the land works from this ridge straight through into this one in readiness for that field but given that fixing all the problems with the BGA that I accidentally caused because of my lack of um, attention to detail in the last episode if you remember watching it about 10 minutes into the episode there was a big red warning on screen don't do this well I fixed all of that I had to roll back to um, an earlier save and then redo everything in the BGA without deleting the storage silo part um, and only deleting the bunker walls so overall it was an easy enough fix but it was just very time consuming because I had to redo everything that I'd done in the episode and everything that I'd been doing for a couple of hours after recording that episode which was primarily auto route waypoints and routes so it wasn't too much of a trauma 
So it's left me with a little bit less cash than I was expecting, which means that we can't buy this field and this field, which was my plan. That was a 350,000. We could do it and still, but we'd leave ourselves quite short of cash, which we could top up with contracts quickly, I suppose. Um, I could go for this one at 280 instead of 350 and 360 for these two combined us with a bit more cash and we do want to get these three fields um eventually because we want to buy this entire valley uh let me think you know i think we will buy those two but we'll see how much cash we've got after we've prepped our fields so let's get on to it we also want to get some contracts underway start getting some money filtering back in not sure which contracts are available right now um, some fertilizing and some cultivating contracts would be good because they're quick cash for very little outlay so let's let's get going the first job that we want to do is we want to lime our fields um, I noticed that the lime was getting a little bit on the low side so that's going to be a job for the little international oh all the weights are on those hold on a second the international does need a weight on the front to deal with that backpacks uh, spreader so let me just drop a weight down here for him and that's facing the wrong way so it's that way oh we go. And in and park it up. Out. Watch the time. We don't want any of those mega long episodes that typified last time around. Wait. Get up. Actually, which weight is that? That's the thousand kilos. That's okay. I was thinking if it was the sixteen hundred, it might be a little bit too much for him. Now, what have we got in this backpack? That's the next question. We've got fertilizer in it. Uh, ooh. Might have to get a second one of these. Um. Right. So if I unloaded up here and of course it had to be full I just unloaded here we're gonna need to use that anyway no. um, I'm I get it to pick up that pallet of lime Oh, that's the lime that's going in there. It was excellent. No, no. no. Fill it here with lime. It goes the cover. Because it's smarter than the default helpers, we'll just use course play to get this going. Um, you know, course play, put it on that one, put it on that one, course generation, this field, um, headland, one headland round it, don't need to worry about the overlap, and then that generate the course, and it's covered the entire field. If I zoom in there, you'll see it better. See, that it's covered the extended field, not just the original field, which is excellent. So, go back and get on with it. Bring up the mini map for you. 
be able, if you watch carefully you'll be able to see that the colour is changing however slight it is that it's changing it's well worth doing because lime is so cheap and it does make such a difference to your crops see the uh, the more bluey green coming in over the top of the sort of grass green colour that yellow green is changing to the grass green so they push the lime in missing a little bit on the corners that's all right I'll live with that as long as the bulk of the field is done spots but again that's okay the field's been limed at least once before so what we're essentially doing is we're just topping the field up go right so you can come across started on this one force play operation generate Again on the farm, Take the field down here, it says field 25, hopefully it'll cover 24 as well. Right, so uh, generate the field course, yep, back with it. While they're doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to jump across to one of the other tractors, that's no, not that one, the little ones. Go. 7210 is perfect. Go grab that um, cultivator. And bring up course play that and that course generation on six headland one yeah one should do actually might need two because of that shed um right the course there we go back course don't clip those mowers oh that was so close just got away with that and we might have to come back and redo the court oh yeah we'll definitely have to come back and redo the corners manually leaving way too much out on the corners I should have used the turn setting on the on the corners and I completely forgot about it so, I was thinking actually, has he really got the horsepower for this? Doing it, I should have used the bigger tractor. Never thought. Got to check the horsepower requirements for this. And this thing has got quite high ones uh, for a 10 meter cultivator. Um swap out the lease on that tractor and actually buy one yeah 250 horsepower so it's right on the limit that's that in fact that's the 7210 that we've got there on it should have put the 7250 on it uh, 7210 has only got 170 horses 7250 has got 260 so yeah we should have swapped them tractors out so I'll do that when they've finished this field Right, so oh come out. Quick had to do it this way. 
So they've finished that field, that's great. We'll go and get them to do the other field. little piece of equipment that I do need to get which do all these guys are working right so um, set up for that set up for that force generation oh. force generation Field 19, all round ones, clockwise from the down field, uh, corners, turn, there we go, um, generate the field course, start, back, and on you go, close that down, and we need to buy a special little trailer, which is a mod, Admit, one of my favourite uh, comes under bailing technology, not trailers. Um, so, now this is a mod that was in the mod hub, but has since disappeared. So, if you want them to get this one, make a note of its name. There it is. It's the SEK 802 Auto Load Trailer. It's a variation of the standard SEK802 that's in the vanilla game. The one that's in the vanilla game does not have auto load. This one does. Um, and that's useful in a number of ways because when we come to customize it, um, let's just get the colors right. Get it for case colors. Uh, silver. That's metal. There we go. Right. In our case colours. Um, wheel brand, Trelleborgs. Yep. Factory new at this price. Yes. Auto load. Yes. That's all its options. Right. One of the other things that this does that the vanilla game trailer does not do is that it gives you all of these colour options on the main body, the bed and the wheel hubs. So that's that's useful also gives you the tire options now what this does is it will accept bales or pallets bales it will take four on the bed and then stack three high so it'll take a total of 12 bales pallets if I remember rightly it takes six pallets but it doesn't stack them so go back Oh, we didn't buy it did we check verify that because I don't think I clicked the buy button see there's there's the standard 802 in game yeah you can get it in this um, grain carrying format or flatbed that's all your options on it the one that we're after is the 803 is the auto load and no we didn't buy it okay so do that now. So we've got it. Send a tractor down to the shop to pick it up. No, that's a flatbed. Uh, there it is. Right. Why is it design color case IH, metal color case IH, rim color metal matches all the um, case factory new auto load. Yes, buy. Only costs 9,800 as an auto load. Back. back again and back again. Right. Uh, are you out of line? Looks like you. Yes, you are. Right. Okay. So. Yeah, we have to 
dismiss the driver here for a moment and take this across and refill it. We only need to half fill it. Screen, roll of the camera again. It's all fertilizer. Wanting fertilizer, we want time. We don't need to, not to finish that field. Here is we pick up on the same course, but I just touch it forward a little bit there and bring up course play if I change the start course at from first waypoint to next closest waypoint tell it to go pick up where it left off meter right so I want to send a track that you'll do Send a tractor down to the shop to pick up that trailer. So, um, shop is on the bottom of the list. Shop yard. Go. Jump out. Join up with that once it gets down to the shop. I want to keep an eye on this guy. He's all about the farm work. Right, he's doing perfectly yeah that turn is what i should have used in the corners look see how he's backing up to get right into the corners with the lime can't do that with a toad implement you can only do it with a backpack or fixed implement right this one we've got to cultivate those patches that didn't get done swap the tractor over so best bet's going to Cross here and work back over. Yeah, definitely. Swap the tractor over. This one's not built. This. But the horses. Why did you not lower? Right up into that corner if you can. Thank you. Spread has finished his job. Good. Reach the shop. Excellent. a little bit there we'll come back for that in a second
Top down. Drop this over here for the other tractor. This one needs to pick up cedar, which I think we've not yet. No, we haven't yet got the bigger cedar, so this one can go down to the shop as well. Get the other cedar while we're there. Um, Stop dithering about, get down to that shop. Go on. Move. That. Oh. And just hit 32 minutes, which means I'm going to have to do some time lapsing to keep the episode nice and short. So, let's just get this one set up and running away on course play. So, it's going to that and that cross generation 24 25 headland uh, two again 10% overlap 8 to 15 uh, up down automatic yeah skip rows none multiple to on 10 meters corners uh, we want the corners we'll try for a turn Go well, for a round turn radius, it means it leaves a smaller patch on the corners, makes it easier to take them in early, um, manually afterwards. Right, so they went back, and off you go. And meanwhile, we tab through to this guy. Oh, we've got that Flegel to go up to the uh, BGA. I forgot about that. That's for doing the digestate um, spreading actually something we're going to need to do so if I get him to take this down to the farmyard um, take this uh, farm where are we farm 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 BGA farm five point burp lime seed. We'll drop it there. And off you go. That one there. I'm gonna buy cedar. I find them. Where are they? They're hiding. Cedars. There we go. What we're gonna do? The, the cedar that we've got. I think is that one 3.6 meters or it might be that one the Amazon at three meters way too small um, what we're gonna do is for the small fields we're gonna get this uh, Kvernland Accord six meter it's a mod um, it's a great little um, cedar for two reasons first of all it on only does seed so it doesn't fertilize, it only does seed. Be aware of that. It only does the seven basic uh, gra grains and grasses, um, which is okay. But once we buy it, see what I mean, um, buy it new. It is great for getting round narrow roads and that's because you tow it from the end like this for transport but when you're due to operate it 
can open off the hitch and you connect up in the center between those two hoppers and it acts like a backpack the same like the fertilizer spreader that we're using for the lime right so this guy has to go to farm wash point it's his stopping point before back actually no he, he's seed as well so um um that one after queue but that's okay so we're jumping back there now get this guy off the field um where's he at he's there right get this guy off the field disconnect him from this lot in a moment let's get him off down here for now and this guy needs to get this trailer out of here for now tractor coming in that wants to use that buy point this trailer I've bought it specifically for loading up with pallets of fertilizer for working uh, on the bigger fields up the hill when we're doing contracts uh, that's made a complete mess of that so. I've got to clean up this yard get a decent surface on it get some sheds in place for protecting the equipment and so on there back here so remind me that we've got him that tractor should be turning up any now how's he doing on the corners Ooh, that actually looks bigger than than before well at least he seems to be struggling less on the hills with that uh, cultivator We need to figure out what seeds we're going to put in the ground this time round. So, just going to have a look at what we've got in our silos. I'm trying to get a balanced storage. So let's have a look. Um, back to the beginning. Right, we've got 34,000 wheat, 16,000 um, barley, 61,000 oat, cotton. We got 17,000 uh, sunflower. We got 8,000. Soybean, we got 21,000. Corn, we got 20,000. So I think sunflower, cotton, I'm not, that's not cotton. That's um, oilseed rape. Uh, what do you call it? Canola. Canola, not cotton. Looks like cotton, but it's not. Uh, that's canola. So I think sunflower, canola, and barley and we'll put the sunflower in the biggest field put the barley in the smallest field and the canola in the middle field do it that way so first things first we're going to be planting the smallest field which is the barley we said so oh, get off jump in there open covers our alignment right fill with seeds start Is that the whole thing full that's the whole thing full close the covers and connect back around oh episodes I'm going to carry on and get these fields all planted up and probably get some contracts underway and I'll see you in the next one where I think we'll lower that hill if we've got the money um, before we buy a piece of land I'd like to get all the land that we own already as usable as usable as possible You know the drill here, we choose course play, we choose that module, seeding module, 
go to course generation tell it what field we're going to be working which is that one um, I'm going to go around with two headland passes do a headland overlap of 15% to make sure we, well in fact can we get it to 20 can make sure we get no bold spots field center up and down bypass islands doesn't count uh, oh, it's not working on headlands yet headland corners we're going to do it as a turn because we've got a backpack tool which means he'll reverse up right into the corners generate the course go back drive it off you go this I'm doing that. Uh, just for the sake of time, I'll go and jump in this while I'm talking out. So, if you're enjoying the series, and particularly this video, please give the video a like, but subscribe to the channel. And do please leave comments down below. Um, do let me know what you're thinking about the episodes. Uh, why can we not dismiss that driver? Did we, we did already. Okay. Um, they're getting a little bit frenetic now as we try to push things in and I'm trying to keep them on course for the, the correct amount of time. We're already at 43 minutes here so all I'll say is don't forget, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments down below, watch next time. I'll see you then. I'm the Gazbeard, thanks for being here. Bye for now.